I'm Nate Yell, and I'm the technical level designer on Plush Knight. I'm working on optimizing the frame rate of the game, and I'm doing that by putting all the art assets into different dynamic loading zones, so everything gets loaded up at different times. Before, everything got loaded up at the same time, so frame rate was like pretty atrocious. Right now, we're hovering around 20 to 30, so we want to jack that up to 30+. plus. I also do things on the scripting end, like recently I scripted the enemy behavior for the giant photoghost. Just like most of the scripters here, I put on whatever hat I can for all the scripting jobs. So one of the biggest challenges that I've had was that when we first started Plush Night, we wanted the level design to be very artistic and cinematic, so that we would have large vistas in many places, and that actually was not my strength. My strength as a technical level designer was to make sure that the level was fully optimized, and vistas are probably the worst nightmare for that kind of job. But I've been able to get through it by making sure that larger assets get loaded faster than the smaller assets. So Vision does a pretty decent job for giving me the right kind of tools to make sure that that kind of thing gets done. On the scripting side of things, I've had to take on the general photo script. That was a pretty big challenge to jump right into a script that I was already written with 500 lines of code and to figure out exactly how it behaved and why it behaved. I'm very happy that on Plush Night, as a technical level designer, I wasn't just doing level design stuff, I'm also doing scripting. I'm able to script the environment triggers and also even some enemy behavior. I definitely did not want to drop my technical background coming to Faya. I definitely wanted to contribute through the scripting side of things, and I feel like I've hit that mark so far, but I'm definitely excited to keep working on that part. So coming to Faya, I felt like my expertise was in programming because I had a computer science background. I wanted to come here to strengthen my level design skills. With all the experience that I've gathered with different prototypes, especially Plush Unite, my right side, my creative brain, has definitely been improved upon. Level design gets me excited. Whenever I play a game, I love, love, love overanalyzing level flow because I actually did video editing. In video editing, you need a good knack for attention to detail, like OCD amount. Level design is exactly that. You gotta overanalyze how the flow is. You gotta guide the player to a point where you want them to go without actually saying like, hey, go to this point. That's what we're doing with how the pathing is with the trails in the forest, and also especially with the charter bug, who is like the white rabbit. I'm definitely excited with how we're taking the player's hand, not forcibly though, and guiding them through the level in Plush Night. Coming to Faya, I feel like I've matured as a designer, and I've just been able to learn how to give up control. So now I feel like I'm not spreading myself too thin, so now I'm able to focus more on certain tasks and able to polish them and make those feel really, really good. And that way, I'm able to contribute to the project way better. All I want to do is that I want to contribute on a game that entertains my friends and entertains my family. That's okay if I'm a gap filler. That's okay if I'm a scripter. That's okay if I'm a level designer. As long as I am able to contribute to a game and make it way more fun, that's what I want to do.